Hey y'all, Coach Unify here, and we're over here at the pseudoprographa.com, and we're going to be doing a video out of the Testament of Solomon, Father Willard, giving all praise and honor to our Father in Heaven, hallowed be his name. We're going to look for Solomon, and it's going to take us to the FC Conibier translation. We're going to be looking at the 36 elements, the world rulers of this darkness out of the Testament of Solomon. But in this video, we're really only going to be looking at one of them. That's the first one. Just to give you an idea of how and what we've been doing in order to break these down. So we look down here, it says that the first is called Ruach. And he says he causes the heads of men to be idle and pillages their brows. But he says, let me only hear the words, Michael imprison Ruachs, and at once I retreat. Now, of course, this is in English. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to break this down into first the Hebrew so that then we can understand it phonetically what's actually being said. What, what does this actually sound like? When we say Michael in prison, Rooks, we're kind of speaking kind of a slang where we're clipping the words off. So let's break some of these down. Now, the first one we'll look at is Michael. Looking at the Strongs, we see it at 4317, it's in Hebrew, 4317 is the time we see Michael. And we don't really see any other cases of Michael. But let's click on this one to see what we can learn about Michael, especially his name. First of all, we see it has one, two, three, four, five syllables. So that would be Maya Ka'ala or Maya Ka'ala. You can see how they get Michael out of it. M-Y-C or M-Y-K-A-L. So the next word we'll look up will be Ruaka. We see it several times in the Hebrew concordance, 7308, 7307, 7306, but they pretty much have the same three letters. So it's the same word. One just means when it's talking about the wind or the spirit, the other one's talking about the spirit or the breath. Then the last word we need to look up is in prison. And this one gets more tricky because we see there are several times in prison is used. Uh, Hebrews 631, 3608, 3628, 613. Well, let's just take the first one that pops up. Maya Ka Allah. Asara. Ruaka. Take out the vowel sounds to simplify. Mm, so what we have, Michael Bond Spirit. And this is important to understand because that's all that's really going on here is that we're asking Michael to imprison this particular spirit that causes um, heads to be idle and the pillage of the brows. Which basically means that a person is not thinking and is getting angry. But notice how general this is asking for Michael to imprison this spirit, which means that this probably would work on many of these particular spirits. So let's see how it will sound. Notice how they put these letters together to say L. But it's supposed to be two letters to say Allah or Eli or Ulu or something, two syllables. So it's Maya Ka'ala Asara 
Vuvacha. May the one who is like God in prison this spirit. But let's see what else we can do with this. Now let's do a little wordplay as we learn down in verse 103 with the 33rd. Now what he was talking about down there appears to be SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. And he asks those suffering from this to write the word Lecurigos and rewrite it, taking away one letter at a time and reversing the order of the letters. Now, when we did this, what we came up with was liquor goes to me too. We'll talk about that in another video, but we're going to do the same thing here. And it's odd because one of the reasons why I was doing this class was because when I did it before, I used the verses from this translation which said Simich Resh Resh. Now I see where you get that from. There it is right there. Simich Resh Resh. You call us Sarah? else is a jerk <laughs> so you be a jerk too so if the person is not thinking or if their heads are idle and their brows are starting to squint like they're getting angry it could be because you're being a jerk and so we would use this when we see a person getting angry getting upset it's probably our fault and it's probably going to change us to make us stop being a jerk but it's maya ka'ala asara ruacha stop being a jerk in summary with this being the first of those mentioned Michael or Mayakala simply imprisoning these spirits well I believe this one is the universal one especially when we don't know which spirits we're dealing with I believe this one being the first one I believe this one can be used for a wide variety of ailments and issues we just have to memorize it and use it when we think that there's something supernatural going on with the person that is suffering. And of course, if it doesn't work, then we'll have to go to the subsequent passages that talks about other issues. And we'll cover them in another video. If you got anything out of this one, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. But leave me a comment either way. And Shalawama.